So on this video, I wanted to talk about the Success Factors Transport Center. If most likely, or a lot of you already work with SAP on-prem HCM. And if you did, you probably were used to the fact that you had to transport things, right? So moving configuration from one environment to the other, there, there were tools to go about it. Well, um, <laughs> so, sorry, I want to make cats move. Uh, for uh, for the longest time, right, in success factors, if you needed to move, just like most of cloud solutions, right, if you needed to move one, uh, configuration from one environment to the other, meaning one of the lower environments, so let's say the test environment over to the production environment, although there were tools available, right, to export and import configuration and in provisioning, you could do a lot with the XML, especially on the talent side. It was fairly limited. Um, about a year ago, SAP Success Factors came out with uh, what they call the uh, Transport Center. Okay, so I'd like to show you a little bit more about it today, and and at least the basics. Okay, first of all, how do you access to it? Um, you simply type Transport Center. And you're gonna see an option called Configuration Transport Center. Uh, let you know. Forget about the fact that if you don't see it, obviously it needs to be implemented. And if you need help implementing it, you need to call your um, whomever your partner is, right? Or or friend consultant, or I don't know if SAP would do it, um, but SAP Professional Services would for sure. Okay, but. The point is that you would uh, click on Configuration trans, uh, Transport Center. And here they actually combine two things, or in many ways they didn't combine two things, but in each, you know, at one point, which I think is absolutely amazing, you could copy your instance, right, your environment from one environment to the other, which historically has been called the instance refresh. Uh, you could copy the whole configuration, right? And then they move on to configuration, versus data, right? Only configuration, no data. And now they move on to more, okay, well, the full copy, so configuration data, then full copy, only configuration, no data, and then full co uh, and then only copy certain configuration, no data. And so I'm gonna select that option. I'm gonna click next. And recently, well, not recently, I said recently, but in the past, I'll say three to five years, so you probably can appreciate Success Factors been making such a, has been making the screen such easy that all of them, in my opinion, are very much self explanatory. Okay, you just need to have enough permissions. I know where to search, but once you get there, I think you could, you could do, you can find yourself around it very easily. But anyways, so let me explain very quickly how this thing works. So configuration transport center, we're only gonna be basically transporting configuration. The default is going to be these configuration activities. And, and we see two options, transport mode and then download more. I'm gonna focus on the transport mode, okay? I might do another video about the uh, download mode. But the point here is that you get to see here in configuration areas, pretty much the, each module, or at a minimum, the group of modules, right? So like, for instance, if you're looking for performance and goals, right? Or succession management, you won't find it here because that's, at least here is considered talent, right? People profile though might not be a module necessarily, but, you get to see its own thing, right? And so on and so forth, right? But since most of you are either running talent or employee central, let me, um, I gotta pick, actually let me pick talent because most people run talent. Lots of them employee central, but most talent. 
And so notice that once you click on it, nothing happens. And this is like the, the number one thing, the first time you're using that it gets a bit confused. But if you go ahead and click go, on the left side, you're, you're going to see um, a number of folders and subfolders, if you will. And if we start looking at them, you'll notice it represents naturally, right? Um, you know, whatever the module is about, right? So here under talent, we see calibration, goals management, succession, blah, 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 right? Um, actually, let's do employee central real quick. So if I were to do employee central, again, notice how this is distributed, right? Um, well, you see some API stuff first, uh, manage business configuration, uh, events, contingent workers. Uh, and by the way, this is my own personal system, so it's got pretty much everything configured, but it doesn't mean that your instance is going to see everything, right? It would only present to you things that are available to you. Anyways, having said that, let me go ahead and uh, move very quickly here. I'm going to go back to challenge. And let's say I needed to move a performance form, right, from one environment to another. I will select here under challenge, right? I will go to performance management here at the bottom. Manage templates. I'm taking for granted a lot of these things that you probably already know if you're an admin looking at this. And then, again, you know, let's say I have any of the uh, whatever performance form I might have. Let's say it is um, 90 days performance review. We do bundles, right? The concept of bundles is you get to bundle, like a better term, a bunch of configuration, then you just move it at once, right? So you simply go ahead and click here and add a new bundle. Assuming you don't have one already created, so I'm going to call it demo one. Just looking at a description, hit create, and then I'm done. All right. Okay, let's say as part of this, I also wanted to move, um, let's say, something more, right? Like, um, um, I don't know, as part of this, I wanted to do to move some employee central information to now you might be thinking why would i want to do that pablo you know why would i want to combine different things most likely my organization different teams working with different modules products whatever um it really comes down to your governance process right uh, there might be some organizations that only allows you to transport things every wednesday for example or every friday or twice a month or whatever it might be right so if that's the case the protocol, right, might be, okay, we're only moving or bundling things, you know, for the next release and so on and so forth, right? So, um, so anyways, you get the idea. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and move on. So, let's say um, uh, bundle management. You will see the bundle that we literally just created, right? Demo one. And once you're ready to move it to the next... To, to whichever instance you're looking at, right? You will go ahead and click here, initiate transport. And then here you would select the data center, you, the instance that you're moving it to happens to be the environment, right? Whether it's preview or production, and then eventually what's the company ID that you're moving it to. In this case, you don't see anything here because I haven't configured, I haven't paired any environment to this particular environment, but that is something that I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain in a different video. But anyways, the point of it, again, just giving you a preview that Transport Center exists, now you get to transport whole configuration a thousand times better than doing it manually, a hundred times better than doing it through provisioning, whatever is possible to do through provisioning, and it's uh, very handy. I highly recommend checking it out.